everyone. Thank you for watching. A big thanks to all my Instagram supporters that followed me on to YouTube. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July 2018. Always remember that general readings may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and never force a message to apply. So Libra, let's see what you have going on for the month of July. Okay, well two cards came out really quickly. <laughs> Communicate clearly and the situation will improve. So, are you feeling a little stuck? Like you can't move forward right now, Libra? There's a decision that you need to make. You're not quite sure how. You feel as though maybe you can't communicate what it is that you want. Maybe someone's not listening. Maybe you feel like you haven't been heard clear enough. Whatever the situation is, whether at work or home, relationship, family, the angels are saying that the situation will improve. But the important lesson here, in order to get that improvement in the situation, is for you to communicate clearly. So these two came up for someone, the Devil card and the Three of Pentacles. If there is a situation with an Earth sign that perhaps you need to make a decision about, Involving three people needing to come together. Three of Wands in reverse. If there is a situation here that involves three people and you're afraid that you won't be able to come together, work together, collaborate, move forward together because that Three of Wands did come out in reverse. So whatever the situation is that you feel bound to, you feel that no matter what, you feel very pessimistic, like you're not gonna be able to move forward from it. Make your wishes clear, communicate clearly. Your wishes, your expectations, because I get the sense that you're feeling like you can't move forward, but the situation will improve. Whatever the situation is that seems to be on your mind. There's your card, Libra. Move this over a little bit. You think you are definitely thinking about your future and what steps you need to take to move forward in your future. You know you may need the help of other people and you're afraid that maybe they won't be as supportive once you decide what it is that you want to do. If it's a mother, a grandmother, a mentor. Let me put this one down here. One more card, please. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that there's definitely an end to a cycle in your life. Maybe you just finished school and you graduated. Maybe you've gotten, gotten a promotion or there is an opportunity for a promotion at work. So that's the end of one position at that company and on to a new phase of your life. You are thinking about the future and what decisions, what plans you need to make. You know that you want to do what's right for you, right? So finding the justice, uh, this is your card, Libra, finding the balance and the justice, doing what's right. Because for some time you have felt like it's time for me to move forward, but I just don't know how to move forward. And when you start thinking of how you're gonna move forward and what you wanna do, you kinda of lose a sense of responsibility here. It's almost as though you wanna move forward in less than honorable ways, but not because it's something that you really wanna do. I feel like that's not your, really, your, your real intention here. But you know that there are certain parts of your life that you need to put to an end. You wanna just, 
you know, grab the world by your hands and create your own world, your own identity, your own future, doing what's right by you and nobody else because this is about you. This isn't about other people. This isn't about coming together with others. This is about you finding your own identity and what you want to do here. But you haven't yet decided what you want to do because you're too worried about who you need to please and who you need to impress. Don't worry about the, what other people will think about what path you choose to take. If there's a particular job you want and you're afraid of not having someone's approval, your partner, your spouse, your friends, your parents, family members, don't worry about the opinions of others. They are not you. This is only about you and what you need to do to move forward. That's all you've been thinking about is your future and how you're gonna move forward. Yeah, look, every single card that comes up is about moving forward, is about finding stability. A new chapter of your life, all about moving forward. So for the six, for the six of swords to come out after the seven of swords tells me that yes, you have been thinking of moving forward in a situation where there is a job, there is a school, there is a partnership or a relationship. There is a decision that you feel as though you need to go behind someone's back to do it. Not in a negative way. Not like I'm going to, you know, instead of going to college, I'm going to go, you know, hustle out there in, in, you know, breaking laws or, you know, decide to be a waitress instead of going to college. It's not that at all. There's nothing, there's no negative here that I feel. I just feel that you're a little too anxious about what others might feel, what others might think of whatever it is that you choose to do. Put yourself first and what you want to do. If this is a new career, if this is a new job, if this is a new boyfriend, a new you know girlfriend, partnership, whatever it may be, you are definitely thinking about the future. You are thinking about how to put an end to one part of your life only to move forward to a new part of your life. You feel as though it's time to make some bigger commitments here. You know that it has to do with finding your stability here. You have the Ten of Pentacles upright, but the Nine of Pentacles comes up in reverse afterwards. So you know that you need to find your financial stability, how you're going to move forward and build that moving forward alone, not in a community, alone, without anyone's approval. Libra, I'm not sure what you're afraid of. Are you afraid of being judged for the decisions that you've made or that you're making? Are you afraid of being disowned, being kicked out, being left out in the cold? You're afraid it may cause some disagreements. Things may fall apart at home, at work, in your relationship. I feel a sense of worry and anxiety here. Look at that. Two of Wands and the Two of Wands. Whatever phase of your life that you feel you need to move forward in, putting things behind to start a new beginning of your life, putting people behind you, for a new chapter in your life. Sometimes we outgrow relationships or friendships, you know? Sometimes we outgrow jobs. You've been at a job for 10, 15, 20 years and it's not fulfilling anymore. Maybe you've been a stay-at-home mom for, you know, 15, 20 years and you're finally starting to get out, thinking of getting out in the workforce. Or maybe you work for a big corporation and you're thinking of starting your own business. Everything here speaks of 
finding your own happiness in your own future, fulfillment in moving forward, reinventing yourself, knowing what it is that you want. Stop being stuck in your head. Look, right side up. Wanting to be recognized, wanting to be seen for all your hard work, your material engagement, wealth, needing to move forward. Wow, look at that. You have the King of Pentacles again. So if you're worried about your dad, if you're worried about your mom, if you're worried about your grandparents, whoever the parental was, if you're worried about your spouse and what they will think or whether or not they'll approve it. Two men here. Is this spouse, father, boss, partnership, relationship? There's something that you feel as though you want to start in your life and you don't want to tell anybody about it. And it's perfectly fine, Libra, to hold things for yourself, to want things for yourself. Don't let other people's negative reactions to what you want affect whether or not you move forward in life. Where are they going to be in five, ten years when they've done what they want to do? Are they paying your bills? Are they taking care of you? Forget financial support. What about emotional support? The right people are going to be in your corner. They might have some strong opinions and you can respect them and thank them for that. Thank you for your opinions. Thank you for your advice. I really appreciate it and I will take it into consideration. But ultimately, do what makes you happy, Libra. You want to go, you know, go to school for something in particular? Something that maybe people never even thought that you had... Uh, an interest in but you know you're so good at it and it's something that you can move forward in don't worry about what people are saying will cause your life to fall apart don't worry about people telling you that's not good that's not stable take their opinions into consideration Yes, weigh out your options. I'm not saying to make an irresponsible choice. If you know you've got tons of bills, I'm not saying quit your job, right? So use your own free will. Make clear and informed decisions. If there is a path in your life that you are now choosing to take and you're not letting anybody know about it, it's okay to have your own thing going. It's okay to do whatever it is you know, that makes you happy. Don't break any laws. I don't want to know about it. I'm not encouraging that. But get out of this stagnancy. Get out of this stagnancy. The right people are going to support you and not keep you out in the cold. You already know what it is that you want out of life. Speak clearly and communicate clearly. Stand your ground. So if you have to over-explain yourself, you've already said too much. If your parents have concerns or worries about a path that you're choosing to take, listen to your parents. Take their opinions, their words, their choices into consideration. Whether it sounds like something that makes sense to you or not. Ultimately, you are in charge of your own life. So do right by you. And the right people will support you in the right way. Okay, Libra, that was your reading for July 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you'd like a personal reading. My information is in the description box below. You can email me at virgoangeltarot at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot where I do post daily and I do have weekly live readings. Okay, so Libra, have a good month. Thanks. Bye.